23. Start with the uh, invocation by Chris Smith. Pledge allegiance by member Don Williams. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for the blessings that you give us, Lord. Uh, we pray that you will be with us in this council chambers today as we conduct the business of the people of Bozier City, Lord, and that you will be with each and every one of us as we leave from here today. Protect us and, uh, and continue your blessings over the city of Bozier. Amen. 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 Please face the flag and repeat the pledge. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> all right. Mr. Montgomery? Absent. Mr. Smith? Here. Mr. Hammonds? Here. Mr. Darby? Here. Mr. William? Here. Mr. Free? Here. Mr. Maggio? Here. <clears throat> In accordance with Louisiana Open Meetings Laws and the adopted Bossier City Council Meeting Rules Resolution, the City Council asks for order and decorum at our meetings. <coughs> Please silence your cell phones. Anyone wishing to address the Council on any agenda item may approach and state their name and address for the record and shall be permitted three minutes to make their comments on the particular item that's up for discussion. With up to four speakers per side, all other audience members are asked to please observe the meeting quietly. And if there's a need for audience members to hold a conversation or take a phone call, you're asked to please step out of the meeting. City Council appointed Sergeant at Arms have been instructed to maintain decorum and ask anyone in violation to step out of the meeting in order to maintain orderly conduct of the meeting. All right, I entertain a motion to approve minutes of the June 27th, 2023 special council meeting and dispense with the reading. So move. Second. All in favor? Oh, oh. we got a vote. You got to public comment. Oh, on the minutes? It's been a little while. Uh, it has been a little while. My apologies. Are there any public comments? Council? Cast your vote. Maybe. Motion carries. Uh, entertain a motion to approve the agenda. No. Mr. Uh, President, I've got one amendment to the agenda. You ready, folks? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm one, a new business. Motion to amend the agenda to correct the typographical error on new business number one, to change wording to adopt an ordinance instead of introduce, and also first and final reading instead of first mo instead of the first motion. That's since the MPC has already heard the case and approved it, and it was a typographical error on my part. Oh yeah, I missed that one. Second. First and second public comment on that agenda change. All right, council, please cast your vote. I'd like to make a motion to approve today's agenda as amended. Second. First by Councilman Williams, second by Vice President <laughs> Councilman Smith. He's a vice president. <laughs> Cast your vote. Motion carries. Are there any ceremonial matters, recognition of guests? I'm aware of. All right, we'll proceed to bids. Witness opening of seal bids for bid number P23 10, Tinsley Ballpark parking lot expansion phase one and two. Good afternoon, Council, Mayor Chandler. The first bid today is for the Tinsley Ballpark parking lot expansion phases one and two. There were three addenda. 
They clarified items in the plans and specs, included the geotech report and the pre-bid conference sheet. We included the project manual, extended the bid date, and then there were some more clarifications and clarified the bid form. So the engineer's estimate on this is $2,200,000. The first bid is from Boggs and Pool. They have acknowledged the agenda, the addenda. Their bid is two million two hundred seventy-seven thousand dollars. That's two two seven seven zero 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 point zero zero. And they do have their bid bond. The second bid is from Cochrane Construction Company. They have uh, acknowledged all the addenda. Their bid is $2,510,000 um, and zero dollars. So it's two five one zero 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 zero. And they also have their bid bond. <coughs> the third one is from Darren Bailey Incorporated. They have acknowledged all the addenda. Their bid is $2,384,880. That's 2384880.00, and they have their bid bond. And the last bid for this project is from McKinnis Brothers Construction. They have acknowledged the agenda, and their bid is for $2,239,000. That's 2239000, and they also have their bid bond. I ask that you acknowledge the reading of these bids. Could, could, you, um, could you repeat that price on Boggs and Pool? I'm sorry. Sure. Boggs and Pool was 2277000. Okay. Thank you. Is the approval or a take under advisement? Under advisement. So moved. Second. Mr. Hammonds, and then who was the second? Mr. Councilman Williams. Mr. Williams. Got it. Public comment? Public comment. Questions from the council? Cast your vote. Phyllis, would you like me to slap him on? Yes, please. Yeah. Motion carries. <coughs> Witness opening the seal bids for P23-07, the Benton Road Elevated Tank Rehabilitation. Okay. On this bid, we had four addenda, which included the pre-bid conference attendance, <coughs> several changes to the specifications and documents, and extensions for the holidays. The engineer's estimate on this is $529,000. We have two bids on this and both were electronic. So the first acknowledges all four addenda. It is from Southern Road and Bridge, LLC. Their bid is for $570,500. And they did have their bid bond included. I'll get the price five seven zero five hundred. Okay, the next one is from Viking Painting LLC. They have acknowledged all their addenda. Their bid is for four hundred twenty-eight thousand nine hundred dollars, and they also have their bid bond. And I ask that you on there? approve the reading of these bids. I'm sorry. Were there alternatives on that one? No, there are alternates. Yes, thank you. I apologize. Uh, for Viking Painting, that was the second one, I believe. Their alternate is $696,700. And the alternate for Southern Road and Bridge is $50,000. 50? 50. 50. I'll make a motion with approve the reading of those bids. Go ahead, ma'am. Yeah, okay. 
a big difference. I think they probably did. I have a motion by Mr. Williams to approve the reading of the bids. Second. We Williams, Councilman Smith. Questions from the audience? Questions from the council? All right, please cast your vote. Motion carries. Thank you, Council. New business. Adopt an ordinance amending ordinance number 133 of 2018 by changing the zoning classification of a certain tract of land from <coughs> RA residential agriculture to B2 limited business being 1.48 acres, more or less located at 4230 Airline Drive, Bossier City, Louisiana for a commercial development and that's a first and final reading. So moved. Second. First by Councilman Smith, second by Councilman Maggio. Questions from the audience? Questions from the council. Yeah, do, do we know what type of business that they're trying to put in here right at the entrance of this subdivision? Um, Please state your name and address for the record. Ryan Estes, Raylene Associates, 4913 uh, Shed Road, Bossier City, Louisiana, 71111. Um, here on behalf of the developer. Uh, yes, they're gonna be put, putting in a uh, roughly 7,000 square foot, uh, it's gonna be a partial dental office and partial uh, retail strip center. Is, it, is this one that's already started right there? The other, I know there's several dentist offices going in right there. That's on the opposite, opposite side. Opposite side? Uh, yes, yes sir, on the Brownlee Road or on the Brownlee yeah. subdivision side, okay. just north of Brown Boulevard. Is a lot of teeth to clean up there. Wow. Right. We're hoping so. All right. Is this, um, have y'all have done any kind of traffic study or anything like that, what that's going to do right here for the people that live in Brownlee subdivision? Uh, we are working directly with uh, Ben Rochenbach, the city engineer, on access um, to that facility. It has not been exactly decided where that access is coming from. We're, uh, we're hoping we can get uh, the owner to... Uh, uh, the, uh, the remainder of the property to uh, cons to do what we're, we're trying to request them to do. Okay. Thank you. But yes, sir, we are we're working with the city. Okay. Right. Any other questions? I did. I did. Questions from the audience again? All right, please cast your vote. Motion carries. Introduce an ordinance authorizing Mayor Thomas H. Chandler to execute the attached joint cooperative endeavor agreement between the City of Bossier City and the Bossier Parish School Board for the cost sharing of traffic control officers at schools within Bossier City for the year 2023 to 2024. First reading. So moved. Second. Charles, is that the same figure we did last year? Wasn't it like 75,000? <laughs> yes, sir, um, it is. I believe the figure, we were refunded um, about $1,800, if I'm not mistaken, due to the fact that school, there were several days that uh, the traffic control was not um, in uh, needed. Um, so we were refunded, I believe, Miss Nottingham, was it 1,800, 1,400? Yeah, it was approximately $1,800. Right. Um, but essentially, the it's same the same agreement year, for this up. upcoming school year. Two hundred dollars cheaper. Yeah, yeah, a little bit cheaper. Yeah, what they, yeah, what they had estimated, but twenty-five thousand, um, mm. and that's split with the parish, and um, the sheriff, and the school board. And it, it, after this school year, it's my understanding you can clarify a little bit, but it should be less for the 20, 2024 uh school year because of the construction of some access to uh, some of these schools that are affected. So one school will be off the, um, which one is it? We hope, WT Lewis, they are doing an access road um, to divert traffic, and so that should help with that. It won't, they'd hope to have it ready in August, 
it will not be ready until January or February. And so at that point, we'll right. reevaluate and see how that uh, right. helps with the traffic. And if that helps with the traffic, then of course, if we don't need traffic control out there, then we would be do a refund. What about uh, trying to gain more access to a parkway? And that, that's the other school, right? Correct. And that's, that was um, in the That works. was part of the money that was pulled when we yes. were arguing yes, over busting caps in Baton Rouge? Okay. That was um, I just want the record one of the projects, reflect that. I believe. Our state legislators failed us there. Well, say it again, Chris. What did you say? I said our state legislatures failed us when they pulled our funding out. I agree. Mr. Mills. <laughs> Shot. All right. Questions from the audience. I know that was out of order. Hey, gentlemen. Any additional questions? Please cast your vote. Motion carries. Introduce an ordinance amending ordinance number 59 of 2022 to include an appropriation of $60,000 from the 2023 Riverboat Capital Projects Fund first reading. So moved. Second. Well, y'all leaving me hanging today. <laughs> first by, we can get no on this thing now. First by Councilman Smith, second by Councilman Maggio. Any questions from the audience? Any questions from the council? Right, please cast your vote. Motion carries. Adopt a resolution to contract with McNew Architecture to provide to prepare the construction documents for the replacement of the maintenance building at Walbrook Park. First and final reading. So moved. Second. First by Councilman Williams, second by Councilman Maggio. Okay. Questions from the audience? Additional questions from the council? Um, ben, I, I know that this has <coughs> Patrick's name on Can you kind of just give us just a little overview on what, what they're planning on doing here? So there's a, an existing building out at Walbrook Park that's in <coughs> pretty poor condition and doesn't really meet the needs for that site over there. Uh, Parks and Rec allocated money in this year's capital budget to push that building to the ground and build a kind of a simple metal building that has an expanded ADA restroom facility. It'll have a little office space there. It'll have a place to store um, some of the maintenance equipment that they use out there as well as a, like a common area assembly space for uh, folks that are out there at the park. It's 30 foot wide by 60 foot long. It's not a big building, but it's complex because you have, you know, life safety code requirements and bathroom requirements and things like that out there. So um, we will be performing the civil and structural work within the city engineering department, but we've reached out to McNew to help us with the architectural life safety code things, bathroom, things like that that need to be done out there. So Park, Parks and Rec will be expanding their office space over here, or? It's not expanding office space. It's a small little office over there for um, them to use. Y'all want to come up and elaborate? Take a bullet for me. I'd appreciate it. <laughs> ben, isn't that already in their capital, I believe? It is. Yes, sir. The building we're referring to, uh, y'all have seen it for 100 years. It's been there about that long. It used to be the boxing club that uh, Mr. Dement used there many, many years ago. And Dixie uses that for their office, their league and all that. They have their meetings in that building. The building does not have a bathroom facility. And as you know, on field seven, that's the T-ball field. And the little fellas, we're having to put uh, porta johns there now to accommodate the bathroom facilities. And we're looking to upgrade it, make it more useful for Dixie to handle their business and the uh, look is to handle their business. So uh, this is what we're coming after. Okay. Well said. Huh? Thank you. How much do we charge Dixie to have an office there? Do we charge them rent? No, sir. Sounds like a hell of a deal. Yeah, 
Any other questions? Comment. Cast your vote. Mr. President, if you don't mind, are you, are you done? Motion carries. Hmm? I'm almost done. Okay. <coughs> All right, no reports. Given the Charles, name. can we go back to, uh, I don't know why I didn't ask you then. Number three. When it says it just says introduce an ordinance amending ordinance number 59 of 2022 to include 60,000. What, what is that? That's what we granted Barksdale Air Force Base that right of way for the new north gate. That's right. That's right. And um, they need to construct some security measures there. Um, the uh, Department of Defense or the Department of the Air Force um, is not allowed to. Um, expend money for those necessary improvements because we gave them a right of way. We did not give the property to them. There's going to be, a, I believe, a, a guardhouse and some barriers erected, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, a little rollover. I met with Ben. I forgot. I met with Ben about that last week. We didn't say nothing right. like that. So I, yes, yeah. I'm, and I was going to talk to these guys. I got, a, I got it in my car. But. Thank you, Mr. President. You done? Yes, sir. All right. No reports. Uh, announcements. Mayor. I just hope everybody had a good Fourth of July and and uh, ready to get back into it. Back into what? Working. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. I'm ready for you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> ready for me to get to work. Yeah. Right. Being adjourned. <laughs>